Hi YouTube, it's Calandra. So today is day five of my challenge. Actually, yesterday was day five, but this is going to count as my day five video, and I'm probably going to post another video a little later today, which will count as my day six. I'm just trying to keep up. Um, if for those of you who don't know, I am working with Erin at Scandalous Beauty. I answered her challenge. She challenged us to make 30 videos <laughs> in 30 days in the month of July. So I'm trying to keep up. So this is my fifth video that I'm posting in July. Today, actually, I wanted to talk about something kind of serious. I've uh, been very lighthearted with the last few. This morning on the way into work, I was listening to a radio program, and they were talking about um, the new movie that Bill Duke is putting out called uh, Dark Girls. And it's basically talking about the issues of skin color or skin tone within the African American community. So it's uh, similar to the, the controversial, you know, straight hair, natural hair, um, long hair, short hair that was uh, discussed in uh, Chris Rock's documentary. But I think this is probably from a little bit more of a serious angle. Uh, they talked about the study that was done where uh, young black girls were given white dolls and black dolls to play with and asked which doll was prettier, which doll was smarter, and they chose the white dolls or the lighter skinned dolls were prettier, they were smarter, and the darker dolls they considered to be ugly and not as, as bright. And the results were similar when white girls were asked the same questions, and these were young children. So it seems that, you know, we're still talking about this controversy. This has been going on as as long as I've known, you know, my mother's generation uh, dealt with it with paper bag testing um, in the 40s and the 50s, you know, if you were lighter than a paper bag or darker than a paper bag, you could not be part of certain groups or cliques or whatever. Um, so I was thinking about it and I said, my God, there's certain things that just never seem to go away. So just like anything else, you know, when you talk about um, self-esteem, when you talk about how women treat men, how men treat women, I can't solve the world's problems and I can't change everyone's opinion. I can have my own opinion, but it just fuels how um, I raise my children or how my husband and I raise our children. So I was thinking about, you know, what do I do? I mean, I have access to young girls at church and, you know, wherever you are in touch with young women, you should always try to be encouraging to them, teaching them to have positive self-esteem, teaching them to love themselves, teaching them to know their worth. So I, I always go back to the issues of, when it comes to issues of what is going on with the uh, the status of men and women. Um, all I say is, well, we teach our son to treat women with respect. We teach him to have respect for himself. Um, and the same thing for my daughter. So when it comes time to deal with issues of self-esteem and self-worth, then we deal with her uh, similarly. And my children are very young, so, um, but we believe that just instilling these things now is going to make a difference. So that hopefully one day, we will not be having these discussions about short hair versus long hair, good hair, bad hair, quote unquote. Uh, we won't have discussions about light skin versus dark skin and who's prettier and who's smarter. There will be no stereotypes. There will be none of that stuff. So I just wanted to talk for a minute about what I do. My daughter happens to be quite fair skinned. And when I wake her up in the morning to get her dressed, I always call her pretty girl, not because she's light skinned, not because she's my, just because she's, she's a cute little girl. I have to say that, but I call her pretty girl because I think she's beautiful and I call her beautiful. I call her princess. I call her queen because I want her to have those positive images of herself and to know that we feel that that's how she looks and we want her to think those things about herself just flooding her with positive images and trust me she does not walk around like she thinks she's all that conceit is far from uh, in her in her world yet she has such self-confidence and she's only three so that we feel that we're doing a pretty decent job but not only do I do that I don't I would say the same thing if she were darker 
if she were my complexion, if she were darker than me, I wouldn't do anything differently. I don't ever want her to feel that because she's lighter skinned, she's prettier than anyone else. And at the same time, I don't want her to be ashamed that she's light skinned and have some Body else tell her, well, because you're light skin, you know, you're not really black. We don't want that. <laughs> and that's not going to happen. We want her to know that black women come in all shades. They come in all sizes and all shapes. And I want her to have a positive body image. I want her to have a positive image of her features. But not only that, Yes, I call her pretty girl. I say, good morning, beautiful. You are such a beautiful young lady. But I also call her smart girl. And I always tell her, you are such a smart little girl. And she does not walk around saying, I'm so smart and I'm so pretty. But she has a positive attitude about herself. And there's a difference between conceit and conviction. So we're hoping that those are some of the things that will help kind of combat a lot of this, uh, the stereotypes, a lot of the, you know, thinking that one is better than the other, but just to accept yourself for who you are and understand who else is out there, that we're all beautiful, um, no matter what our shade is, what our complexion is, whether we're black, whether we're white, whether we're Asian, Latino, any other nationality, people are people and people are human beings. And that's what we want to instill in our children. So I encourage you in this video to just take a challenge and decide that the young girls that are in your life, whether they be your daughters, your nieces, your godchildren or just young people in your community just be positive instill some positive values in them help them to understand their worth and to know their worth help them to know that they're loved and help them to love themselves and to know that they're worth a lot more than gold and that this way they will help hopefully grow up to not have some of these image issues that no one will have to tell them what they should be tell them what they should look like tell them that they're any less than who they are the beautiful talented young women that they are. Um, so this is day five of my challenge. I'll come up with a day six video. Don't forget to check out my blog at calandrabranch.wordpress.com. This and that with Calandra. Thanks a lot. And thanks again, Erin at Scandalous Beauty, for giving us this 30-day challenge. Bye, YouTube.